Hey everyone, Jackie Hollywood here. So this is my first story time ever. I've seen a bunch of people's story times and I've had people ask me, why don't you do one? You have so many stories. So I was like, all right, let's do this. Um, so I set up a little vlogging area in my bedroom, as you can see. Um, no longer using my iPhone 10 to record everything. I'm still gonna be using it when I'm out and about on the streets, um, but I do have a DSLR Canon um, shooting this for me right now. It's gonna be really hard for me not to look at myself the whole time and to look right here at you guys. So I'm gonna try my best. So this story time is about an incident I had at Taco Bell that drove me completely up the wall. I mean, I was about to call the cops on these Taco Bell employees. That's how annoying this was. It was so crazy and gave me so much anxiety that I still think about it to this day, which is why this is my first story time. It happened to me, um, how many years ago now? It happened to me like three years ago and I'm still thinking, like sometimes I have nightmares and I wake up sweating and I'm just like, how did this really happen to me at Taco Bell? And I promised myself I'd boycott Taco Bell for the rest of my life after this happened because I was so upset but the boycott lasted like a week and I was back at Taco Bell shortly after eating, so no longer boycotting Taco Bell because it tastes really good. So um, here's my story. So a few years ago, I moved to LA. I live in San Francisco, born and raised, but I decided to get up and just move to LA and start a whole new life and start over. A couple years later, I changed my mind and I decided to move back to San Francisco and start over again. My parents, decided to come to LA to help me move all my stuff back. So they rented a big old truck and they drove to LA, we collected all my stuff, and here we are in the van driving back up to San Francisco. Now obviously, there comes a point on this road trip of about seven hours where we get hungry. Normally, my parents are very much against fast food. They don't like it, they don't want it. They'll eat it in an emergency only. Like, they do not like any type of fast food. Um, but we were kind of in a rush that day, and of all fast foods, Taco Bell does have some um, not so terrible options. So we decided to just stop at Taco Bell. And I was actually really excited, because I love Taco Bell. I love their bean and cheese burritos. And like, I'm a vegetarian and Taco Bell is amazing for vegetarians because they can replace any beef products, any meat products with black beans. They always say that they can do that. Like no problem, you're a vegetarian, go to Taco Bell, plenty to eat there. So I love Taco Bell. So we stop at Taco Bell and I should have already known it was gonna be a disaster because we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, like I don't even, I couldn't even tell you what city we were in because it was just a random city between the Bay Area and Los Angeles, which there's a bunch of random cities. Um, literally cannot tell you the name of the city or even the area just because it was some small place, some small town with a population of probably 50. Like I have no idea. So we go in there. Taco Bell, this is like a pretty big one, like there, it's, it's spacious, like there's sp space in there. There's about four or five people eating inside of Taco Bell. So the people working at Taco Bell were definitely not very busy, there wasn't a line, like there was nobody, there was like one person ahead of me and like a couple people eating inside of there. So A, let's just get that out of the way, they were not busy, okay? There was nothing going on at Taco Bell. There were like there was like one person on the register, like someone packing up the stuff and the sauces and then a couple people in the back cooking, like none of them were sweating and acting like they were working super hard. They probably had time to relax all day because we're in the middle of nowhere. So let's just get that out of the way. So I go up and I order. Now, here's where it gets weird. I, since this was a while ago, I don't remember exactly the food item that I ordered. I know it was a burrito, but I, I mean, they have different types of burritos, right? So I don't remember exactly what it was. So I just tried looking it up on my phone a couple minutes ago to try to pinpoint the exact burrito. I knew that if I saw it and the ingredients, like I would know, but their menu must have changed in the recent years or this old school location in the middle of nowhere just had a really old menu. Like, I don't know. I don't know Taco Bell well enough to know when their menu changes and when they have added items. So I literally could not find the burrito that I had ordered because I looked through all the burritos that they offer right now and the ingredients were different than the ones that were in the burrito that I ordered that time. And I know this for a fact because the story that I'm about to tell you is about the ingredients in the burrito. 
So I have no idea like why I didn't just go up there and ask for a bean and cheese burrito. Could have just got that, right? But for some reason there was something on the menu, there was a burrito on the menu, I remember this 100%, that had chicken in it, okay? I don't eat chicken, but the other ingredient, there were other things in the burrito that I really wanted that were more than just in the bean and cheese. So maybe there was like shredded lettuce and like tomatoes and whatever, sour cream, whatever it was. It was more than just the bean and cheese burrito. Or like I said, their menu might have been really old and they just didn't have any vegetarian options written on the menu. So I just picked the burrito that was on the menu. There were like five options and I was like, I want that. But I was like, give me that burrito. But there's just two things about this burrito that I don't want. Very simple. Can I get this burrito? No chicken. Okay, no chicken. I said that very clearly. And no corn salsa. Because their salsa is some sort of... I don't know if it still is or if they have this at all anymore. But it was some sort of combination of like a... There was corn in their salsa. Like mixed into their salsa. Like a special... I don't know if it was a mango salsa. I don't know if it was a regular salsa. I don't know. But there was... I don't eat corn. Like I hate corn. I hate it. So I was like, can I get this item? No chicken and no corn. That's it. So everything else in there I'm good with. The sour cream, the tomatoes, the lettuce, the beans, the cheese. Like whatever else was in there, I'm cool. So obviously I didn't say it like that because I usually tell people and they just get it. So I just said, hey, can I get the number five with no chicken and no corn? She goes, yeah, no problem. All right, cool. That was easy. So I pay. I wait for my food and my parents order whatever they're ordering. Um, they're not vegetarians. So like they're cool. They order like a salad or a taco or whatever they're getting. So we get our food. I'm super excited to eat and we sit down. Okay. I am unwrap my food. About to take the biggest bite of my life because I'm so hungry. I take a bite. I don't eat. This is my mistake and I've learned from this mistake. I literally every time I order something now because I'm so traumatized, if it's wrapped like a burrito, I always open it and I peek inside and I used to do this and then I stopped at some point because I was just so hungry I just didn't care and I was like this it's Taco Bell. What can go wrong? I bite it and I chew and I feel something that's not supposed to be there. And I'm not talking about the corn because if I had felt corn, not a big deal, right? It's just corn. I don't like it. I can spit it out. This is chicken. I haven't eaten meat at that point in like 15 years, okay? Like 14 or 15 years because I stopped eating meat when I was 11. So this is a big deal. Like this, there's chicken. C-H-I-C-K-E-N chicken there's now chicken in my mouth now for most of you that sounds like wonderful that sounds like a delight a dream come true there's chicken in your mouth when you're hungry why wouldn't you like that well guess what that's nasty i don't eat chicken i don't want it in my mouth i felt the texture right away and i spit it out right in front of everything and everyone i just bleh, and i looked down i'm like Oh geez, and I think like maybe there's just accidentally one piece of chicken in there. You know, they just cook back there. I get it. It's probably not the best job they could ever ask for in their lives. They probably wish they were somewhere else. So not maybe paying attention all the time. Totally get it. 100%. So I'm like, maybe a piece of chicken fell into my food. So I unravel it. Lo and behold, it's stuffed with chicken and it's stuffed with corn. Now when I say it's stuffed, it's not like a couple pieces fell. It's like they took the chicken and they took the corn and they said this is going to be really delicious inside this burrito let's slap it on there there was more chicken and more corn in my burrito than any other ingredient so i knew it wasn't a mistake so i was like "Ugh, that's annoying but honestly i'm a very nice person and when people mess up it's okay we all mess up so i was pissed that i had bitten into it but honestly that was my own fault i should have checked before i bit it so i wasn't upset I wasn't angry, I was kind of annoyed, but it's okay, life goes on. So I go up and I very politely say, hi, excuse me, ma'am, um, I ordered a burrito with no chicken and no corn, but it seems like there's chicken and corn in here, so it would be really nice if you could make me another one. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry about that, no problem. That's it, all right, that was easy. The Look, I've, I've gotten food that was wrong before at restaurants and everywhere else and I always just ask, hey, can you please take it back and can I get a new one? If there's meat in it, no problem ever. So, my parents are eating their food. 
they're already done. Like, this is like a few minutes later, like they're sitting there waiting. And I said to them, you know what, when I get my burrito, my new burrito, we can just get in the car and I'll just eat it on the way. Like, there's no point in wasting time for me to sit here and eat it because we were in a rush that day and we had to like get back home before like it was nighttime because we wanted to unpack certain things. So I was like, I'll just get my burrito and we'll go. So a few minutes later, I get my, my new burrito. I'm like, thank you so much, ma'am. Have a great day. And I mean, she knows, she knows they messed up the first one and she's giving me a second one. So in my head, there's really no way that they could mess this one up. Like, we had just spoken about this, right? Like, we had just talked about it. So there's, there's no way they can mess it up. They're going to give me a burrito, right? So we leave. We walk outside. We're walking to the car in the parking lot. And I say, you know what, Mom? You know what, Dad? This is silly, but let me just open up my burrito real quick and just make sure that it has no chicken and no corn. Like, real quick, like, right before I, I eat it, right before we drive off. I'm sure it's cool though, don't worry about it. You know, you guys can get in the car, turn the heater on, like, I'll be in there in a second. So, I open up my burrito, I unravel it, I peek into it, I see a piece of corn. That's right, I see corn. I see little yellow kernels inside of my burrito. And I was like, no, 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 I'm dreaming. Like, I'm in an alternate universe right now. There's no way that we had just spoke about it being wrong. There's no way they put co it. I, uh, no. So I look a little bit more. Maybe one corn fell in. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, just maybe, one corn fell in from the ceiling, okay? And they didn't notice. So I look more into it. Now this time, lo and behold, there's no chicken, no chicken, but it's full of corn. Like it's full of corn. Like there is corn all up in my burrito. Like I said, if there's a couple pieces of corn, like one here, one in the middle, I can be pissed, but I will deal with it. I'll eat around it. I'll even maybe swallow one if I have to, or I'll spit it out. It's just, it's a vegetable. It's cool. I just don't like eating it, but my burrito was full of corn. Like, how is this possible? So, I say, Mom, Dad, I need to go back and get a new burrito. I don't understand how any of this is happening, but I need to get a new burrito. So, for some reason, my parents decide to go in with me. I told them they could wait in the car, but they're like, oh, it's going to be a while. Like, whatever, we'll just come in with you and sit down. So, we go back into Taco Bell. At this point, I'm pissed, but I'm still, I'm still respectful. That's just the way that I am when I speak to people. I'm still respectful. I'm still calm. I'm still friendly. But I had to let them know they messed it up twice. So I go up and I say, hey, with a smile on my face, like almost laughing, like this is funny, haha, <laughs> like, hey, like, I had just ordered the burrito and then I said no chicken, no corn, and you guys gave me chicken and corn, so you gave me this one right here. There's corn in it, like, I don't know what happened, but can you please make me another one that has no chicken and no corn in it? And she goes like, yeah, like, I'm so sorry. And the lady who's taking my order seems to not be the one that's making it, right? Because she's at the cash register, so this is not her fault unless she's putting in the the order wrong, right? If she's putting my order in correctly on the computer and giving it to the people back there, it is now their fault. But if she's typing the order in wrong, then it's her fault. So I don't know whose fault it is, and I'm not about to point fingers, but I have to make it very clear to her what I want again, just in case it's her fault. So I'm like, please make sure that the burrito doesn't have chicken, no chicken, no meat, no nothing, and no corn. Everything else is fine. Like, the other vegetables are fine. No chicken, no corn. So I tell her again. I make sure I say it, like, really slow so she is listening to me, but I'm still really nice to her. Like, no doubt about it. Like, I'm just, like, smiling, and I'm like, it, and she's like, I'm so sorry about that. And I'm like, you know what? It's no problem. It's okay. Like, it's all good. I'm trying to have a good day. So, deep inside, I'm like, what the hell? But I didn't show that. Because I'm like, if I had been rude to her, maybe she would have been doing it on purpose, right? But I wasn't, like, at all. So then, she goes back, she 
gives them the order. I don't know if she put the order in wrong. I don't know if she put the order in right. I don't know if people back there are high on drugs. Are they drunk? Are they playing video games? Are they in virtual reality where they don't know what chicken is and they think chicken is beans and they think rice is corn? Do I know what they're thinking? I don't know anything. I just know that I'm at Taco Bell, I'm hungry, and I want some food, and I want to get out of there as soon as I can. Okay, so this now is, so I had my first burrito, it was wrong. I got my second burrito, it was wrong. Okay, now I'm on my third burrito. I'm waiting. I'm literally, my heart's pounding. My heart is pounding, okay? She gives me my burrito, and she goes, have a nice day, ma'am. And I go, thank you. So this time, before I walk off and walk to the car, I decide, let me open this up in here. I'm going to open this bitch up inside a Taco Bell, because if it's wrong, someone's going to get it, because you can't mess it up three times. Like, you just can't. Okay, unless you're really trying to mess with somebody, like, and it didn't seem like they were intentionally doing this. They weren't giggling back there. They weren't looking at me weird, they were just working. So I'm like, there's no way they're doing this on purpose. I didn't do anything to them, like, why do they hate me, right? I open up, I'm shaking, like literally I'm shaking. I'm shaking. They op I open up my burrito. There's chicken in it. I'm not making this up. I wish my mom and my dad were home right now. In fact, when they come back, when they come home tonight, I'm gonna record them telling you guys their side of the story and I will include it in this because this sounds fake because if somebody told me that they messed it up this many times I would be like they must hate you or you're lying because that's not okay there's chicken this time there's no corn so first there was chicken and corn then there was only corn and no chicken now there's chicken and no corn and I'm like did I did I fall into a different planet where these words don't mean what they think they mean? Does corn not mean corn? Like, is corn not a yellow kernel to you guys? Is corn a tomato? So you don't re- like, I, like, I don't get it. So at this point, my niceness starts to fade away. And I am now upset. Now, even though I'm upset, I'm still not the kind of person who's going to be like, listen to me, you need to do this. Like, that's just not who I am. I wanted to do that. That was 100% going on in my head. The hand clapping, I was ready for it. But I was a little bit harsher this time, for sure. Like, I couldn't just stand there and be like, hi, sorry, you guys messed us up again. Do you mind making me a new one? So I went up, and I used a louder voice this time. And the three people that were sitting in there had definitely turned their heads this time and they were looking at me because I said, are you guys dumb? I said this. And I don't ever say things like that to people. Like, unless I'm joking with my friends, like, it is so rare that I will be rude like this. So it took a lot for me to, like, get this way. I was so pissed. I was in a rush. I was hungry. I was annoyed. I was like, are you guys dumb? Are you stupid here? Like, this is the third burrito you're giving me and it's wrong. How hard is it to make a burrito with no chicken and no corn in it? Like just those two ingredients. And they like, now the people in the kitchen that are working by there are looking at me. Like they all stopped and looked at me cause I had raised my voice. And I was like, this is my third burrito. Like I don't understand what is going on. Why is this wrong? I can't eat it. And I was like about to cry. I was so upset I was about to cry. And I was like, you know what? I don't even want another burrito. So if you could just refund my money, I will leave. Like, I'm done. Like, I at that point in my head boycotted Taco Bell. I was like, you guys don't know what you're doing. You guys clearly are stupid, okay? Like, either you're stupid or you don't understand the words that are coming out of my lips. Whatever the case, I don't want this burrito anymore. Lost my appetite. Like, give me my money. So she looks at me. And she was like, okay, I'm sorry. And like, she didn't really know like what to do or what to say. She's like about to just give me my money back. And my, my parents are just sitting there behind me and they're like telling me in Russian, they're trying to, they're like, no, just get another one. Like, you're going to be hungry. There's nothing else around. For some reason, this wasn't like kind of place where there were other, like there wasn't like McDonald's around. There wasn't other stuff. It was literally like a Taco Bell in the middle of nowhere. 
So I like didn't I would have had to keep driving to find other food We would have had to pull over again like it was a whole thing So my parents were like no just like have her make you one more like it's fine It's fine. They're trying to calm me down like just get food because you'll be hungry And I was like shake. I was like shaking. I'm like I don't even I don't even want to tell them to make me a new one because if they make me a fourth burrito and it's wrong I will take the burrito and I will smear it all over their faces like I can't I'm not gonna like sit here and accept what they are doing like I don't want to I don't want to get another burrito my dad gets up and my dad is like telling the lady he's like no you know it's just make one more burrito like just just make one more and he was like do you understand what she wants and the woman is like yes one burrito no chicken, no corn. So she repeated it back to me, okay? So she knew. Now the whole kitchen is listening. To our so I'm not just no longer just talking to the lady who's taking my money. Like, the people making the food, there's like two of them, they're now listening to me and my dad and her. So I'm like, so everybody, so I'm like, does everybody get what I want? And now I sound like a diva. Now I sound like I'm Ariana Grande or I'm Mariah Carey walking into a Taco Bell demanding that I get what I want. That's what I sounded like, but that's just because I was angry. And if someone had walked in at that moment who didn't know what was going on and was like listening to me order, they would have for sure thought that I was like Madonna famous because I was like, okay, everybody pay attention now. This is what I need from you. But I had to make sure that like it wasn't the lady's fault in the front and it wasn't theirs in the back. Like everybody's paying attention. Class is in session. Jackie Hollywood wants a burrito with no chicken and no corn. Is that okay? Does everybody get it? And no, I didn't refer to myself in the third person when I had done that. But I was like so like listen everybody and I was like enunciating all my words so nobody could accidentally think that I said something that I didn't say. Okay. So I'm standing there and I'm almost in tears, and I'm pissed, and I'm red, and I'm like, if they give me the wrong burrito, God forbid, I'm about to call the police. Like, I am not kidding. This is not an emergency, and I'm sure the cops have some other better things to do, but in this town where I am right now, they don't have anything better to do. Like, they're probably trying to break up a cousin from kissing his cousin. Like, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Like, the cops are probably bored, and they want some drama, so... Give me that cell phone and let's call 911 because I'm about to report a Taco Bell emergency. And when they say, hi ma'am, what's your emergency? I'm gonna say, all the people here are idiots and they're trying to poison me because I told them I was a vegetarian three times and they put meat in my food. So clearly they're trying to kill me. That's what I would have told the cops because there's no other explanation for what was going on at that moment. So I finally get my fourth burrito. And I'm 100% sure that it's going to be wrong. Like, I am just standing there like, all right, what are they going to put in this one? Maybe there won't be chicken or corn in this one. Maybe they're just going to smear their shit inside my burrito and say, have a nice day, ma'am. Because at that point, I was just like, there's no way that they're going to get it right. Like, they clearly hate me already. Like, the, we, there's no mutual understanding here. They don't like me. I don't like them. I want to go. But my dad forced me to order my fourth burrito. So I was like, fine. They give me my fourth burrito. I open it up this time, not, not on the way to the car, not at my own table, and not even by the doorway, which I did on the other three. I opened it up in front of the lady at the counter. She gave it to me and I said, hold on. You need to witness this right now. You need to look. You need to make sure that I'm not taking chicken and corn out of my purse and putting it in the burrito and then showing it to you and saying it's wrong. I need you to witness that it's wrong yourself so you can tell me what was going on. So I unravel the burrito in front of her, and I open it up, and it's right. <laughs> like, the, you know, like when you have a rash, and you want to go show the dermatologist, and you're like, man, this really itches, I gotta go there. It's filled with pus, and it's flaking and red, and you get to the doctor, and you try to show them, and it's just gone, and it's not, you're like, well, it was here in the morning, like, I swear, like, I swear I had, like, blood and pus coming out of my arm, but now it's clear, so you have nothing to show them. That's literally what happened. I opened it up, and it was perfect. And she looks at me, and I look at her. And I, at that point, I was speechless, because they had obviously messed up the other ones, but now I look stupid, because I made a big scene, and they gave me the correct burrito. And I just, I looked at her, and I said, thank you. That's what I said. I said, thank you. I wrapped it back up and I started eating it and I walked out the door. Now, 
On the fourth try, they finally figured it out, okay? But that whole thing was so, so stupid and gave me so much anxiety and I was so upset. I literally said, I am boycotting Taco Bell. I don't care that the fourth one was correct. That's not the point. I'm never eating a Taco Bell again. Clearly, they don't know how to hire employees. They're dumb as hell, all of them. But then, I was eating it and it tasted so good. And I went back to Taco Bell the weekend after, and I've been eating Taco Bell ever since. So, I didn't boycott Taco Bell, okay? I actually really like Taco Bell. But the people at that one location, man, I hope they are doing okay with their lives right now. A few years had passed, I really hope they're not working at Taco Bell. I hope that they went to college and got a degree, and I hope that they are doing great, and that they're married and have kids, and that they will never look back on the incident that changed my life. Anyways, that was my first story time. I know it sounds insane, but that totally happened to me. And it felt good to like get that out because it's been so long and I just, ugh, like the that just, it just pisses me off just thinking about it. Um, so thank you for listening to my story time. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be doing more story times. Trust me, I have a lot of weird stuff that goes on in my life. Um, I'm also going to be doing challenges. Um, I want to do a makeup challenge where like my dad does my makeup, so that would be fun. I'm going to do a lot of stuff for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything in particular you want me to record or talk about. And I'm going to work on making this setup a little bit better. Right now it's kind of like janky, but um, it's the best I could do as of right now. So hope you guys like this. Also make sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Jackie Hollywood. And I'll see you guys next time. The most ridiculous thing ever. I've never seen anybody so stupid. So people gave her corn with chicken, then chicken without corn, then corn without chicken. It was like four or five times in a row. It just never ended. I don't know. And one got it from another, the other one got the order from another. And at the end, everything was wrong. I've never seen any idiots more than this one <laughs> in this particular business. They're complete idiots. You were furious. I remember that.